Libras, welcome to your heart spread read. It's for mid-November 2021. This is an eight card read, ends up in the shape of a heart, and it looks at the one that's on your mind and the one that's in your heart. We could be so corny, and I will be, because it's mainly a love and relationship channel. <laughs> but do check out the Soul Family read today. I'm doing this read on the 4th. On Thursday is always a Libra Scorpio day here. Gilded Tarot Royale, we're using. Um, cards are ready, already shuffled. So we're going to look at you and your person, get advice on how you're interacting, advice from spirit on the relationship, if there is any, and the outcome card here, guys. All right, and you come in. This is your energy, in and around love and relationships. It's going to be very clear. This is a Libra who's somehow actually reached a plateau reached a new level, uh, busted the glass ceiling. Um, it could also very simply be someone that just graduated from college, graduated from high school, uh, someone that was finally made a um, partner at the law firm or, the, or whatever um, kind of energy. So it could be quite literal, um, someone achieving some goal, but you know, in terms of love and relationship here, Libra, I kind of tend to think of this as, uh, you feel like in terms of, I try to see this separate from your person. Uh, this is you really leveling up and ready to start a new cycle. I mean, the next card becomes then the fool. You start the fool's uh, journey. Um, so it's you being victorious. And I got to tell you, like, I try to look at this as your energy before you come into relationship with this other person. Um, and you would be feeling victorious in general. Now, here they come with major arcana. Jupiter all over this person could be a Sagittarius person here, Libra. Um, definitely the Jupiter card, major arcana. <laughs> This person is going to say about you, to themselves, to you, to other people, my Libra is the world to me. I mean, this is a very literal, my Libra is the world to me. But they're already in the mindset. Now, why is that? Maybe it's spiritual. I mean, maybe they're soulmates, you know. If you're having a feels for someone, I think they're already like a soulmate at some level. We're all connected, right? The mind of God stuff. But they would be inclined either by nature or some transit that's going on around Jupiter. Now I think it's at 23 Aquarius getting up. It's going to start rip roaring through Pisces next year. It's going to be something. So this person could be kind of in a feeling of being caught up in, uh, or, you know, this can be a manifesting that they expect you. They expect to get the world. It's what they manifested, what they wanted. I mean, it's a very high vibe energy and it's very soulmate energy because these major con these are these are forces in the roles of the one and two position, which are your personal energy that are bigger than you, Libra, bigger than your person, whatever, whether they're sad or not, bigger than all of us, right? The soul, the nature of the soul. Now, page of cups, and you're looking right into this reading. So this is a perfect energy to have, I think. I mean. I, I don't want to judge, like, this is just how you feel about your person. Well, I mean, if this is a new relationship, particularly, it's absolutely perfect. It's like, I'm really interested. You could be, I love you, um, you know, uh, maybe fast or a feeling of really wanting to give them your emotional attention to be vulnerable. Page of Cups is going to be vulnerable. When they approach someone, you can approach with vulnerability. And here you are, someone that has the world. Um, so, you know, when you have the world, too, it's like having strength or something. Um, you, you can be vulnerable. You know, you're not afraid to be vulnerable. You've already made it. You know, you don't feel like you have still have to climb. You can be vulnerable. And you're well inclined to them. Ace of swords. Yeah, this is them, I'm saying. They're feeling like you're something that they manifested with this ace of swords energy. Um, this is saying about you, like, like to you, to them, you're like winning the lottery. Um, now, this could be Neptunian delusional energy, or it could be real. I mean, they did manifest you, or you manifested them, but this, and they're all in. If there's any, they may be a little harsh, like compared to the Page of Cups. This is like a, 
a little bit harder, more realistic language. You, you would approach them, Libra, romantically. Libra, you'd think, right? Um, and maybe the way they respond is probably very direct. In, um, but it's a nice progression to go from the page to the ace for them to respond. I, I like it. I see that as going together very well. And two, I remember this has the dove in the image here, okay? This is the Gilded Terre Royale edition. And so it kind of softens this Ace of Swords into something that's not necessarily going to be harsh. Uh, but it would be some truth and it would be direct, you know. And so they would probably just immediately make it known. Like, I think you're my soulmate, my twin flame. I think I manifested you. Just want you to know it's all me. <laughs> it's all me, Libra. Now... This is your advice with the Knight of Pentacles moving into, uh, it's going to be kind of moving back towards you. Um, this is advice from spirit towards this person. And it's to proceed um, here, um, but to slow it down and use caution. This is coming underneath the page of cups. So it's as if the universe is seeing your energy towards them, being very soft, very vulnerable, very emotionally open and, and to them. And they're being kind of harsh here. Um, they're showing interest in you, but it's more of a masculine dominant type of interest here. Not not nearly like as emotional and soft as yours. And spirit's telling you to, you know, seek your own ground, seek your own strength and um, in relation to this person. So it's not saying it's not a good relationship. It's saying that if you want to make it the best relationship you can, you know, it kind of balance your energy a little bit here and you know make sure you're taken care of and you know you're sound um, let's see wow in the back mentality with the five of pentacles this is the advice to your person if you're cross watching or maybe if you share this um, probably the, one of the reasons okay that they see you uh, here Libras as being this prize um, being this lottery winning, so to speak, of love, say, you know, I won the lottery of love, is this, it's kind of a black mentality. It's not about the bad things. It's the Spirit's advice to make these adjustments. Both pinnacles, your knight of pinnacles, their five of pinnacles. So here, I think you can read this as Spirit telling you guys to slow down um, so that with this ace of swords, um, your person can kind of... Uh, make peace with their own processes here around not feeling good enough and um, you know that energy wanting to put someone on a pedestal uh, uh, this kind of thing um, it's it, with the ace of swords it's it's a little bit um, sharp and fast it, it feels a little bit predatory in nature from your person here in Libra compared to your page of uh, cups but it's coming from they're not feeling good enough about themselves corny but now the knight of cups is surely moving towards this person now so I think like by them understanding this and accepting what's going on with them this ace of swords over five of pentacles it's like a projection of their own lack mentality as some kind of strong desire for you. Uh, and I think you giving them your page of cups is exactly what they want. You could argue it's what they need. If you reel it in and ground yourself and don't give too much away and take care of yourself, my pentacles don't play. Now, the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole is you can move ahead romantically, emotionally here it's uh like an adjustment as a relationship grows together now it is dependent on your other person here sort of accepting and understanding their own processes here and normalizing and realizing this relationship which right now to them could be like a neptunian fantasy you know that they dreamed up you know through this jupiter energy um it's not necessarily a bad and it's not necessarily not true maybe it is but yet there's this element to it um, that needs to be balanced out and then the the knight of cups is uh coming from you 
So Lieber, you will be the one to decide when it's time to move ahead romantically, sexually, Mars, action. Knights are always Mars. Mars is always sex. Four swords. Wow. So it's going to be a period of four weeks, I think, most likely. Four weeks and no more than four months for Libras um, for this energy. And you look at this Ace of Swords, it's like it can't get to your Page of Cups unless it goes through the Four of Swords. And I think this is the time that's going to be necessary for really your person to bring things into balance. And you're just being asked, asked to be strong and hold tight and basically do you. You know, it's all it's saying. It's even offering here one of the points of the reading I rely on the most because this is the advice for spirit for the relationship as a whole. It's a Knight of Cups moving towards your person and their Five of Pentacles. You need them to go, you know what? I really am enough. And you move in with the Knight of Cups and lock it up, guys. It's going to take a minute. But thank you. Um, give me a thumbs up if you would. You know, uh, tell a friend, tell a friend. Please do subscribe.